On the main stage, I will call Tadas uh, from the Institute in Lithuania, how to start a lean transformation. Hello, Tadas. Hello, everybody. Do you hear me? Well, perfect. 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 Okay. Okay. <clears throat> hello, everybody. Hello, hello world. Uh, and uh, now today, uh, we're going to present you our uh, experience. I'm founder of Lean Academy Lithuania. And uh, as a company, as an org organization and institute, we're working with the industries, with the uh, uh, sectors, uh, public government sectors, and help, helping them with the transformations. Today, I would like you to show the, uh, one of the case studies in beverage industry. It was a very interesting case. Uh, we s uh, started to work with that company just a couple of years ago. And uh, the company is MV Group Production. That's one of the biggest uh, uh, beverage uh, producer in the region. And uh, there are a few factories uh, and uh, our model area where we try to learn how to apply lean acting and thinking. There is company Alita. Uh, Alita having uh, uh, quite large capacities of, uh, of production uh, possibilities and having a high variety of the product. And that transformation is very interesting because uh, uh, the style of the company is uh, equipment rich uh, industry. I mean, uh, most of the job is done by the machines and people care about those machines. Uh, some processes there are where people are engaged more, but uh, generally there are big machines. And uh, that transformation was very interesting because uh, that organization, it looks like on a Google Mac, how it looks like, it looks quite big one. And uh, they tried to apply lean before, uh, before a few times and with very low success. That's why this transformation started with quite low motivation of people at the start. Uh, that's a picture of how the lines look like. You see quite a, uh, extensive machinery here. And uh, uh, that organization organization has just eight production lines. That's quite a big organization. And in order to uh, to learn lean uh, thinking and acting, it's the first key learning. We should start from small area, with the model area. I mean the model line. Uh, and that's first recommendation for organizations trying to learn lean. Please start small scale. Uh, because the general purpose uh, of having small scale is just to develop capability of the people to see and solve problems. Capability is uh, cannot be developed uh, developed very quickly, but uh, model line it's very good to, uh, to do that. Because the purpose uh, to have uh, to start in a model line is to go not wide. Because we see a lot of lean uh, 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 trying to uh, practice lean in many organizations, they try to go very broad at the very beginning. But uh, we suggest not to go very wide, but go to deep and slow. Because uh, uh, the purpose of transformation is just to learn how lean thinking can help to that business environment and uh, to create some fundamentals for further expansion. That's why in that case, uh, we suggested to, for that organization to choose one line, which is almost one uh, tenth of uh, all of the business. And uh, we call that line fifth uh, filling line. That's that's mean that uh, the line filling product in the bottles. And uh, in that model line, it's almost of that size of the organization. Typically, beverage lines looks that way. I mean, there is a flow production inside. There are a lot of uh, machineries inside and people looking at the machineries and caring about the lines uh, and just general picture of, of the production. Uh, initially, in order to, uh, to start uh, transformation, it's always important to understand why we're going to start that transformation. What the need behind that? What the problem would like to solve an organization? In our case, uh, we have uh, some uh, current condition because that, uh, I'm talking about the case 2020. And uh, we started uh, in, in, in the factory seeing some issues. Issues related with the salaries of the people, 
because uh, past few years those salaries uh, going to increase so much and the uh, general cost of the manufacturing it's also starting to grow and the current condition is that uh, improvement ratio they started that's the moment they started the program was very low that's why uh, uh, the purpose for that transformation is to a uh, little bit uh, to come up the, the uh, growing cost and uh, we need a little bit more improvement considering the, the past improvement ratio in order to cover all of those costs growing that's why the the first problem we started to work is to define the target for the model line and uh, the target is uh, for that model line for for our pilot it was very exact because we have had two targets uh, together with the team uh, we're trying to teach is just to increase output of the line by 20 percent 20 percent means not few percents because few percents for the person means nothing for, but for that organization 20 percent you consider it very very big challenge without investment it's and that exact figure for uh, from 5500 bottles per per hour up to 6700 bottles per hour and that's measurement uh, that target we're using as a lagging kpi as a lagging measurement indicating our capability development because we work with the people we work with their capabilities but uh, having uh, that target we are going to measure how we develop the capabilities of the persons. And target two is uh, to, grace, to decrease man hours per thousand units, per thousand bottles, from 2.5 hours uh, up to 1.5. It's very, very significant target. It's very important. Uh, and the team in that organization at the very beginning, they consider that tar uh, the target is not impossible but we still have a huge challenge because the cost of the production is growing. Let's uh, get a mini an image of uh, our roadmap for that transformation. You may see there is almost uh, the year of the uh, 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 2020. And uh, what we do, it seems it was obvious that COVID time was very intensive in that place. And, uh, but that's our activities. That's our plan. Majority of the time was spent practicing to see and understand the work, preparation of uh, offline and product standards. That's majority of the work we, did, we planned to spend. And uh, all of that time almost planned to spend in Gemba. Uh, because in the Gemba, we have true facts. Then uh, in, on our agenda, it was planned to practice to see abnormalities. Uh, this means initially we plan to create some standards for the lines in order to see abnormalities. Then uh, we practice uh, to see some uh, uh, management routines and practice to develop some management routines based on meetings, ba based on uh, uh, process supporting processes. Uh, we plan to have some work uh, dedicated with how we see issues it's it's same practicing to see issues and creating of Pareto analysis. It looks like Pareto analysis is very simple one, but for many organizations, it's a very difficult one. And uh, at the end of the day, we started to practice solve problems. It was a general map for, for a year. And uh, it was uh, uh, some visit schedule because we visit that organization once, tw uh, twice a month for one day. And that day typically is Gemba day. Uh, and every month we have two days and two and a week in between. We found out that that model works very well when you want to develop people's capability and in every month we visited that factory once a week for one day just to be with the team members with the people in a gamba and to coach them to see and solve problems uh, and it was very interesting that uh, uh, the major time we spent is just to learn how we actually do the job how the line performs uh, uh, in order to produce product for the customer. Uh, 
And we found out that understanding the work is the one of the most important part of transformation. We're not talking about what lean tool to implement because many lean transformations started with lean tools implementation, then organization fail. Uh, it's not about lean tool. It's about to understand what the work should be done. Uh, that's a very important learning. And uh, together with the people or from the factory, because from the factory, we started from CEO of the factory, from production managers, uh, from uh, shift leaders and operators. We created that team of, uh, of uh, people for the teams. It was four teams working with some issues. And uh, there are questions uh, we started to ask by observing the line. What's the line pacemaker? What the purpose of every buffer area? Because the lines are very sophisticated. There are many, many issues in the line, many stoppages, many short disruptions of the work. The line has 18 conveyors. You know, what the purpose of every conveyor? Why speed of every conveyor is very different. And spending time on Gamba, our purpose was to learn all of those things. How many labels we, uh, we have in a role? Because uh, uh, label changings for the bottles takes time. Uh, how frequency labels should be changed? Many, many, many of those questions should be asked in order to understand the work to be done. Uh, that's, that's some pictures of, of the process where people took a lot of uh, attention. For example, uh, in order to prepare bottles for, for the filling up, there are very strange conveyors with many lanes of the conveyors. And together with the people, with the maintenance people also, we try to learn why that part of the line is designed this way. It was very strange why there is design because there are many lines, but we don't know why it's designed this way. It, it, it was a lot of questions related with, to understanding the work. You see, there is a filling up the machines, that's the main machine, and why there is distance between those bottles. Just by observing and standing and observing Gamba, you see a lot of issues coming up. That's the way how to learn about the lines, about the job should be done. And uh, the questions, by observing operators working on the line, why? operators touching bottles so frequently, what caused that? It, and the purpose is to learn the work. And in order to improve, uh, we should understand the current condition of the actual work, not lean tools, but actual work. And there are a lot of small details to be learned and attention to details is very important. And our job as an external partners of our organization was to teach, uh, to pay attention to those small things happening on, on the lines. And uh, seeing how people do the work here, uh, we help them, that's our, uh, after observing the Gamba, we started to prepare some standards for the lines. You see there are complicated form, maybe for you it's not visible, a lot of data here, but all of the parts of that standard, all of the parts has some purpose. That's machinery speeds, that's conveyor speeds, that's people, uh, what people supposed to do, people timing, frequency, how many minutes, minutes they spend per hour, and their output you expect from the line. That's a line speed. You see line speeds is much higher than the output we should expect. But we consider that as a standard because to expect that value per hour, because our target is to increase number of bottles produced per hour, uh, that figure you can expect. Having standards, we spent with the organization in that model area almost a half a year in order to develop those standards. You see standards are quite sophisticated because the line is quite sophisticated in order to improve the system. The second big stage, uh, big stage is to learn the abnormalities. Uh, the purpose for the standard in our case was just to set some parameters for the line in order to see where line performs, how it performs, what issues we have on the line. You see here, that's uh, together with the organizations, we develop some 
very, very simple sheets and give them to, to operators, teach operators how to register all of the abnormalities you, you see on the line. Initially, we developed together plan fact sheet. For some one of you, it looks a little bit uh, too simple form, but we try in organization to use as simple as possible tools, but they're very practical because uh, there is a target per hour you would like to achieve, and there is a fact per hour we actually achieved. And you see, there is a huge difference in deviation in minutes. Those minutes will last, lost because of many, many reasons. And there is a cause for those reasons. There is a, a abnormalities registration sheet. We ask operators, please observe the line very carefully and fill in what you see, what cause uh, trouble for the line. Please do it manually, paper and pencil principle. Please do it that way. After having that, uh, uh, that, that work together with operators, with team leaders of the line, uh, we started to, because there are many, many, many issues, we started to develop Pareto chart. This type of the Pareto chart is the best Pareto chart we, uh, I saw and our organization saw in the world. It's so uh, simple because it does flip chart. Color means different shifts. And uh, there is a, a frequency of the issue and how long the issue is. You see the issue is once, there are repeatable issues. Uh, and the purpose for that tool is just to see issues on a weekly basis. We develop those sheets for the weekly basis. And uh, we try to learn people, please use paper and pencil principle because we learned that that's the best way to achieve your target and to learn please use as simple tools, tools as possible and uh, that flip chart we used for every evening meetings evening not morning but evening meetings for that organization it was the best case to have evening meetings because of the shift uh, uh, how they organize work in a shift uh, uh, you see here almost a very, very simple progress considering uh, Pareto chart. Even the Pareto chart shows there is a 2020 September, 2020 December. That's already in summary on made on Excel. And you see uh, the scale. The scale, just having uh, four months, the scale changed so much. The scale is 300 minutes, the scale is 50 minutes. It's almost six times less issues. Yeah, okay. It's a, it's already shows the people performance uh, and the the job people already did, how they achieved it. Uh, in order to improve, uh, uh, would make a lot of changes in the line. It was uh, during that period of time of four months. It was oh six months. Sorry, six months. It was registered, thirty five changes in modal line. That's it in our local language. Just not important to see what's inside, but generally it is a lot of issues accumulated. And uh, together with the team, we try to learn to solve problems already because first stage is to create standard in order to see the purpose of the standard is to identify what's normal. But the purpose is to see abnormalities. Then when we, already try to see abnormalities, problems, then we try to learn about problem solving. How, what kind of countermeasures we should uh, uh, apply in order to impact that issue. And that's some examples, uh, issue with the caps, some examples, issue with the conveyors, some examples, those small issues, every organization almost has all of, all of those issues. They're very small, but typically they're not visible in organizations. And uh, even in that table, in that table, it was a lot of chain, uh, a lot of issues. You are falling bottles, you know, 10 minutes per hour, countermeasure, readjusting conveyor speed. Okay, because the, there is the purpose for every dead conveyor. Initially, uh, it seems that we didn't learn the purpose for those things. I'm talking about those small things, but those things are very important in order 
to improve improve actual performance of the lines. And there are a lot of ideas implemented. There is a bottle rotator. There is a Jidoka device detecting if right orientation of the bottles because bottles are of that form. And if the form is in opposite way, the issue is coming out. It is a lot of small changes made for the lines affecting the performance of the line. And uh, uh, it's very important. After we try to see issues, then we started to practice evening meetings. And uh, by practicing evening meetings, it is uh, what we learn. What we learn that those meetings should be here exactly in Gemba. All of those flip charts, that's in the Gemba. And uh, what the purpose for those meetings? The purpose for those meetings is to see issues and team leader, that's in green, that guy in green, that's a team leader. Team leader explains by pointing figures to the production manager, to a supervisor, what the issues they have had on their daily performance. That's a sheet, a team leader preparing every evening for, but that sheet is prepared during a shift, but every hour, team leader explains why we achieve this output per hour and what kind of issues it was related per hour. And during the meeting, there are much more persons standing here, maybe three or four of them. There are some maintenance people together. And uh, during those meetings, people distribute the issues they are trying to work on because all of those issues are obstacle preventing us to achieve our target. That's the way how to have evening meetings. In the pictures, you see very, very simple things, but in order to engage operators and engage team leaders and engage people, things should be very, very simple. We we'll learned that KPIs also should be very simple, measurement, output for every hour is not unique yeah but it is very powerful because you see the difference between your target and output very very uh, fast not waiting the end of a day because at the end of the day you will you already see thing, things already disappear you don't see them that's very interesting thing because i would like you to show you uh, uh, there is a picture from uh, from uh, meeting board that's a number of issues, issues registered in the model line. Just considering a half, less than half a year. In the blue, there is in the minutes, in the minutes, that's per month. That's a month, uh, that's a December, that's July. And number of uh, minutes, and that's number of issue. Number of issue reach 250 per month. It's very few issues, considering what kind of issues they see today uh, after one year of, of, of uh, learning. But considered for that organization, for that model line, at the moment we worked, it was so big number of issues, 250 per month. And to deal with those issues, almost impossible. But uh, uh, learning how to uh, move, and learning how to solve issues, you will see what happened. Uh, that graph also we have on on a, on a uh, meeting board, and in those graphs you will see issues. In the blue, let's let, let's have an example. In the blue, there is a bottle falling, and uh, uh, that's uh, that's in a minute. Yeah, the scale, and uh, you see the number of issue. Number of issue is growing. Then year month after month, it's a little bit going down. It's year 2020. Year 2021, those indications still much, much lower. And you see issues with packaging line, yeah, packaging line still growing and going down. That graph show us how we solve problems. Because it is very important uh, uh, having meetings uh, together with the team to see how we affect our problems. That's mean, what we really do, this description, what kind of issues we saw and what we did for every month, uh, what kind of issues people did. 
it is very important for people to know that what you do, it makes impact to your performance of the line. That's the learning curve because it is very important to learn cause and effect. Uh, cause effect because uh, uh, adults uh, learn just by making mistakes that's why we need to see cause and effect of our work seeing that uh, that's a big picture uh, showing the difference in performance of that mode line after one year of period of time that's the very beginning you see the deviation in performance uh, for that mode line it is uh, minutes we lose per period of time or per hour we lose almost 18 minutes 11 minutes and after one year having same measurement system very consistent measurement system very simple costing almost nothing there are no screens on the on the walls no sophisticated software just paper and pencil and you see here the deviation deviation is almost zero uh, that's made same line uh, maybe a little bit uh, very very similar product that's a target and that's enough there are still some deviation in place yeah but there are uh, that's breakdown of the bottles we still some issues we have a lot of issues but stability of the line was so different and stability of the line reflects the change point i mean the capability of the people of operator of team leader production manager to see issues and to solve issues that's why uh, those data indicating the the change people make on that mode line and uh, at the end of the day uh, it is very important to see there is an impact for the work but please may consider that covid environment i mean a covid outbreak i mean that uh, many operators in some months just uh, very out of the job because of the covid infection and uh, that's a target of 20% to uh, increase output of the bottles per hour. And you see the typical relations, I mean, the typical variation of the output. And considering uh, where we start and where we finish the year, there is huge difference. That figure, that's fact figure, that's target figure. And for that organization, it's very considerate, not possible. But uh, having uh, orientation to the gamba, having paying attention to very, very small details, that results very great. Uh, but the, uh, the change for many hours was much bigger than we expected. Because at the very beginning, we uh, have had that, that almost data 2.2 hours per, per per thousand bottles at the end of, of, of the year we finish almost 1.2 uh, in 2021 it was even less it was very very positive output of uh, of the people job what they did and uh, it is very interesting that we just measured the rest of the lines in organizations people didn't practice that that change and there is a line where people practiced to change i mean there is new way this mean new way i mean that uh, new way and uh, new way how to approach the work and there is the new way and that's an old way we just compared in that organization performance of the rest of the lines and you see the huge difference uh, and having those data we learn that application of lean thinking and acting uh, means uh, seeing problems uh, and solving them learning to see them and solve them it helps organization to advance very very quickly and the benefit of that model area they learn they form the team for that uh, organization capable to do same job for the rest of the lines 
that's mean next period of time that team started to teach team leaders and uh, production uh, and shift leaders for next or the next lines that's the purpose for model area that's why Others? it seems that it seems that we achieved that purpose that's a finish of my presentation Perfect, Tadas. Right on time. <laughs> As it should thank, be always. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for Excellent. listening. Excellent.